Probably should drink a healing potion or... I guess I'll cast the one healing spell. Regenerate, I think it's called. Yep. It's not very good, but it will help me. Not waste potions. This looks impressive. I think I'm going to save real quick. Oh, it's the door out. Okay. Hopefully. Hopefully that agreement is enough. Uh, the boots should increase my speed a little bit, right? The boots of Cocoon Johada. I don't really feel that much faster. I think I might have to fight these fucks too. A human face. It's pretty fucking gnarly. Please just get up here. Oh my god, it does have a human face. That's so disgusting. <laughs> so that's where drug wax comes from, huh? Oh, I think I can make a fortify strength potion using these guys' as wax. I don't want to fight the other one right now. Small slaughterfish. That's pretty funny. Oh. Oh, call up Scott Pearls. Sweet. I spotted them earlier. I'll see if this fulfills the quest or not. Probably should have saved before I left, but it is what it is. Three blessings. Yes. If I may pass in the safety to the old sanctuary and see the great statue of the inner shrine, the place is safe for my people. Yes. So are you gonna fucking swim, Grass? Because if so, we need to kill the drogues. And the mud crabs and every other god awful creature that walks the earth. Here. Excuse me, you can just walk on water forever? Well, fine. That's actually ideal. Hey, 
fucking cliff racer bastard. See the broken body of the droog. You're so slow. Look, I'm using potions, lady. You need to speed the fuck up. Only got six more of these bad boys. I think the cliff racer's stuck too high to get her, so at least there's that. Just a little bit further. This will do another safety save. This slope looks gentler. Are you serious? You don't know how to path here? What are you doing, lady? Oh, thank goodness. Don't think burdening it is gonna work. Now whacking up the staff, that was a good idea. Alright, are they gonna attack her? Hey, wait for me. Hey, wait for me. That's pretty decent damage. Huh, okay. Hey, wait for me. Is there? Thank you. I said I w would accompany you and see if you had made the place safe. You have fulfilled my conditions. Thanks to you, the Amusa shall be saved. And if you wish, I shall name you Nervarine. You've made this place safe for the Amusa, and so I named you. So I name you Amusa Nervarine, war leader of the Amusa, and protector of the people. I also give you the Mad Stone of the Amusa, which shall be assigned all Dunmer that you are the Nervarine, and that the Amusa shall follow you. In all things, even until death, until the enemy is defeated, or until you are dead. Now I can stay only briefly, soon I must return to the camp and make preparations to re relocate there. Cool. What is the mad stone of the Musa? Sound, 50 points for 20 seconds on touch. Oh, is it faster to walk back or is it faster to teleport and then go the long way? I feel like it's faster to just walk back.
but it's just barely so. So if I teleport back, I'm going to have to walk my ass all the way across Sadrith Mora. Should be no bueno. Those guys are so weird. Signs only point to one thing. That's hilarious. Yeah, no, fuck off. I'm not fighting anyone I don't have to. I'm tired of the constant fighting. These camps have a uh, Silt Strider shell. So just the fact that they're useful to have. Is this a sleeping Silt Strider? I'm pretty sure it's dead. Uh, what do you have to say about these guys? Oh, cool. She gave me no information. Come closer. Let me see you. Yes, I think it is you, the one they talk about. The Outlander who claims he fulfills the Nervarine prophecies. You should talk to Ashkan Kosad. He's the mightiest champion and greatest Ashkan of all the tribes. He's a very great man. You should talk to him. He's a very curious man, always speaking with traders and travelers about the news of the world. Go ahead. Our great chief does not stand on ceremony. You may enter his yurt if you are clean and curious. Cool, are you trying to like trick me into a duel with their Ghoulacon? I'll just drink potions. You can't stop me. So, you are Mr. Orb, the outlander who claims to fulfill the prophecies. You're welcome to our hospitality, but you must tell us, how can an outlander be the Nervarine? We've heard the rumors. We know you to be an Outlander who claims to fill the prophecies. But how could an Outlander be Nervarine? Ho ho! Don't, do not think me to be rude, but seriously, do you believe the story yourself? I mean, no offense, but you must admit you're an Outlander and completely ignorant of our ways. How could you ever be our war leader? What sensible Ashcan would choose you to lead the tribes? Ho ho! Skies above, if talk were wealth, you'd make me rich. Don't you get tired of talking? Do you have something to say, Outlander? Okay. Thank you for sharing these tales and rumors. For our part, we have little news. We hear other tribes are affected by blight. Okay. Very well. A vampire named Calvario has taken refuge in a nearby tomb. The Nerano ancestral tomb. If you are as worthy as they say you are, it should be a small manner to dispose of this vampire. There you have your task. Perhaps you would lead me to peace in a bit for a bit. It's to the north. 
Go west until you reach the mountains, then turn north and follow the mountains, keeping them on your left. When you pass Nehalift, keep your eyes to the east, looking for an entrance flanked by two trees. Boom. Okay, I think I want to talk to this fucking wise woman over here. And make a new save. I think this guy might be fucking with me. Council. You're the Outlander, what do you say to that, eh? Is that all true? That's a very interesting ring. It is part of the story of Nerevar, the moon and star, that none may wear the ring but Nerevar himself. You should talk to Ashkan Kausad. Can I talk to him about the moon and star ring and get him to wear it and fucking die? Uh... Let's see. No, I cannot. Okay. <sighs> Fuck me, dude. I think I remember that tomb. It's all the way north. This guy's gonna send me on multiple quests. It's gonna be so annoying. Wait, is it right there? No, it's the Venom one. Fuck. Maybe I should have followed his advice. What was his advice? Go west until you reach the mountains, then turn north and follow the mountains. I will do this. Okay, I think that's Nahrlof right there. It's a Dwemer ruin. When I pass by these ruins, just head north. Got it. <laughs> On a positive side, we should be immune to vampirism. Because uh, we're immune to all disease. Worst case scenario, I can craft some cure disease potions as well. Probably. Is that the tomb right there? This might be the tomb. Nerano family tomb. Okay. So we just got to punch a vampire to death. Fuck me, dude. There goes my strength potion. What a dog shit creature this is. Oh, maybe I should drink a feather potion for the time being, just in case. Just in case there's another bone walker. Okay, I should have expected that. I thought they were chill. They were not chill.
Note from Bacharach. Morris, you boys better clear out. Our position was given away and we were raided by that bastard Gorus. He sent a small band of the dead to draw us and wiped all, out all but Louvrin. Is able to make it back here to Nellis to warn us. We are clearing out and heading to a new location. I suggest you and your boys get out of there as soon as possible. We have a snitch in our organization. You let me find out who it is and I'll feed their flesh to the crabs. It seems as though he knows all of our raiding routes. It's just a matter of time before Gora sends them damned and dead your way. I'll never turn those goods over to that necro. What's fair is fair and he had to pay up. You know where I'm coming from. I'm sending Ursine to deliver this message to you. She will deliver a key so you can gain entry to the rendezvous point. See you soon and good luck, brother. <coughs> Rusty key to the Indaran tomb. Which is not the one we're in. Key of the Dorano chest. Oh, damage ring. Oh, I got some athletics as well. Uh, we have limited time. Uh, so I might want to get my ass moving. There's some horrible monster on the other side of this. Jesus Christ, he's so fast. Can't open doors though, at least. Okay, there might actually be a fucking vampire in here, after all. Oh my god. He's so scary. Oh, it's not very strong, though. I want to see him move some more. Okay, there's no more bone walkers. I can just drink my restore strength potion. <laughs> yeah, he's such a fucking freak. Okay, I didn't catch any vampirism, right? Yeah. What a douchebag. I need some restore endurance too. There's fortify endurance. Don't think I made restore endurance. Okay, I'm pretty sure. Actually, I might not have the goods to do it. Okay, Vampire Dust, Restore, uh, Fortify Strength. Coolio. There's that other tomb. I wonder if it's the tomb up ahead. 
me just de-equip this apprentice's probe and get my invisibility shield ready. Oh, it's already up. Fantastic. Is that it? Telvos Dungeon. Interesting. It's like a little escape hatch. Convenient. Piece of shit. Let's drink an invisibility potion. Nine seconds? Are you serious? What a dog shit potion I made. Well, whatever. It's enough to lose. Aggro. Okay, that's some horrible creature behind that tree. Looks like I'm a little bit faster than the hound. I'm gonna drink another invisibility potion. Let's get these guys off my back. Alright, what are you gonna say to me, buddy? Oh, well... I don't even know if you killed the vampire, but why don't you go to this other place and kill shit for me? Ho ho ho! Dead. Well then, perhaps I was mistaken. Perhaps you should be the Nerverine. So you killed the vampire Calvario? Well, I will be happy to acknowledge you as Zynab Nerverine, but it is customary for one seeking honor from the Ashcan to offer the ash cannon generous gift as a mark of respect because you're an outlander and do not know our customs i'll do the great favor of naming the gift i wish to receive a telvani pride but pretty one plump with big hips to bring me many sons where will you find her you should visit the highborn lords and inform them that ash cannon kozeb of the lordly zaynab would do them the honor of making their daughter his bride surely many telvani lords would be honored to receive such an offer I want to kill this man. Whatever. Dude, why are you being so rude to me? What do you want? He wants Talvani Pride. No highborn Telvani would wed an Ashlander. But I have a friend plan. Go to my friends Savil Emain, slave mistress of the festival slave market in Telrune, and tell her you need a pretty Dunmer slave to pose as a Telvani lady. Then tell then she'll tell you what clothes to buy and dress her like a highborn, then escort her to the camp and present her. He won't know the difference. Okay, cool. Where's that slave? Do you have something to say, Outlander? Okay, at this point, I think divine intervention would be good. I don't have mana. To have a scroll of it? Why would I waste a scroll of it? Could just use my restore magicka potion that I'm definitely not going to need for any other reason. Not joking. I will not need it. Plus, I have like 10 million Deja Hearts. We need a little bit of fat uh, fatigue too, so I have a decent chance of casting the spell. Great, 27% chance. Cast it like 
seven times now. Ah, there we go. Now I just go to the boat and then go to Tel Rune. Have enough money to buy all the clothing in the world. It's kind of cucked that I gotta go buy the clothes. I don't see why I couldn't just give the person like a thousand gold to sort it out themselves, but you know. It is what it is. I am going the right way, right? Yes. Hoggers. I do not like it when the guards start running. Gives me flashbacks. PTSD. And I have to go to Telmora yes, first. What do you want? Oh, this is cool. I don't think I've ever been here before. Finally, something interesting. Uh. Okay, Seville runs the market northwest of the tower. So I want to go out of the tower. West is leftward, so there should be a market nearby. Uh, not seeing anything but crabs. Oh, no, here it is. Your actions show promise. What do you want? Slave door. Oh, I think that'll be the person. Man, that's so shitty. Looking for household slaves or something special? You need a slave to pose as a highborn Telvani lately. Sweet Alma, that's some Numu Zabamat and her cunning plans. I do have the one you want, a pretty Dunmer girl. But first you must get an exquisite shirt, skirt, and shoes to dress her in. Talmora Elgnan the Clothier. Okay, cool. What about household slaves? Okay. Ugh. Is there something I can do for you? I'll deal with freeing them later, maybe. I greet you as a friend. That is not a not a fun quest. <laughs> no, me gusta. Thought I got stuck. Oh no! Fuck! Ah. Get travel in the center of these roads. We're going back to Telmora. May I help you? Pretty sure there's a lady here that I need to talk to as well. Are you the one? Do you want something from me? Berwin. That's the person. Corpus Stalker? We were able to trap it upstairs, but no one wants to risk disease by getting close to it. Normally, Master Ayan would take care of it, but he's been so busy lately. Sure. How the fuck did a corporate stock forget? Here. 
Whatever. The corpus disease is not enough to make someone immune to 20 dick punches. Thanks for dispatching that corpus stalker, Mr. Orb. You obviously have great skill. Ah, my old friend Gribrith. I heard you helped him out of some serious trouble not long ago. Some business with a couple of no-good Ashlanders, right? They'll never learn. Anyways, yeah, my thanks. I had quite an investment in those guar hides. Would have taken quite a beating had Gareth not been able to sell them. Here, as a token of our appreciation. Sweet. That is what I'm talking about. What does this ring do? Damage, fatigue, a bunch on touch? Oh, that's really good, actually, for my build. Um, do you have anything that I would want? Looks like you have a bunch of random garbage, but you don't have soul gems or anything. Any potions you make would be worse than anything I could make. Alien of locking seems interesting. Like, I could lock NPCs in rooms. Feather shield seems okay, but it also doesn't last long enough. Okay. I guess I can just offload some of my garbage. There we go. Do you want something from me? Looking for clothier. Pop carry. Uh, do you have anything that boosts strength? Is that actually pretty awesome? Got goatee hide fortifies speed. Good to know. Grab that. Heather makes feather. Gold cannon restores strength. Drogue wax. Uh, I guess I could buy some of those. All of them. Void salts do nothing for me. I could get a Grandmaster Mortar and Pestle, which I think I will do. Okay. Uh, now, how am I going to pay for this? Drain Durance, Drain Durance, Drain Durance. Fortify Intelligence times five. I'll get the heavy ones out of here. Oh, I already sold enough. Do you have a restore endurance? Do you have a better restore endurance? Coolio. <sighs> Fuck, it's not gonna be enough. Okay, did that restock? Maybe do you have another one? Bargain Restore Endurance. Amazing. I'm back to full. What a wonderful store you have. It's a cool little furnace. Bradras, do you have money? You have 750. Right glove with the horny fist. Left gauntlet of the horny fist. You know what? That's a decent-ish one. I'll get the left gauntlet of the horny fist. Why not? Right one weighs too much. Not to my taste. Why am I not wearing my armor? Oh, it's broken. That explains that. Uh, you can take this indoor hel helmet. Why not? I guess I'll buy one Master Armor's Hammer. Maybe two, just to get my money's worth. 
That's hilarious. I know I could buy her repairs, but... Why would I do that when I can do the work myself? Get a little level up XP. Yes, Outlander. What do you Interesting. And some more clothes. Ah, no. The Covenant? Oh, you're just a tavern? I mean, why? That's a very good name for a tavern, I guess. So it's certainly brought me in there. I think this is the shop we've got to be looking for. Yep, Elegnan. So we want an exquisite shirt. Exquisite skirt. Not expensive. Exquisite. Here's one exquisite sh skirt. Boom. Oh my god, they're trying to fucking trick me. It's melting my fucking brain. But do you not have an exquisite shirt? No, there's no fucking way. Exquisite shirts. Okay, and we need exquisite shoes as well, I think. I'll just double check. Exquisite, exquisite, exquisite. Got it. That yeah, wasn't that expensive. Is there something I can do for you? Oh, take me to Telerun. Take me. I think I'm headed the right way. May I help? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna save again. May I help you? Yes, these clothes are perfect. Hold on to them. You'll give them to her when you've bought her. But I need a little more time to coach her to play the part of highborn Telvani lady. I know just the thing we need. Go get a bottle of Telvani musk perfume. Try Blidden, Aurelith, the Apothecary hair, and Telrune. Okay. Bring me the musk. Okay. So, the apothecary here in Talmora. There is much to discuss. Much to discuss. Oh, there's the apothecary. There's someone watching me. I can tell. Bro, I'm not impressed. I literally answered the door. He sells moon sugar. Yeah, I'll buy some moon sugar. I'm gonna quickly make a moon sugar potion. Cause why not? It's like Drowax. I'm not gonna do the whole kid and caboodle with the fucking potion. 
potions of intelligence. Ah, Kogodi hide. Okay, how much is this potion fortify my shit for? Let's see. 34 points. That's pretty good. Go ahead, Outlander. Is there something I can do for you? The absurd for the superb specimen, skillfully coached to play a part in your little scheme. I'm pleased to accept you the modest sum of twelve hundred tricks. Sure. Seville's slave pod key added. Twelve hundred gold added. All right, I've removed her bracers. When you're ready, you should speak to... Boom. All right. And save as well. Yes, Sarah. Uh... Yes, Falora Lavrum of Alathi's Haven, daughter of Adrano Lervu, Lord of Tel Lervu. Pleased to make your acquaintance. See? She has taught me well. I shall be a highborn Telvani lady, and no one will know the difference. I admit, I'm a little bit anxious about marrying an Ashlander, even a chief, but anything is better than being a slave, and I'm very tough and smart, and determined to make the best of my chances. But Seville Emelin said you wanted to give me some presents. Oh, Sarah, these clothes, they are divine, such perfume. Only the very rich can afford this. I shall do everything I can to please you and my new master, that is, my gracious lord and husband-to-be. I'm so excited, I cannot wait. Let us travel together to the Zainab camp and meet the Zainab lord. Awesome. Oh, she's got an identical outfit. To the other one. That's hilarious. Oh, it's gonna be kind of a pain in the ass to get her over safely. It's probably gonna involve a lot of saving. Please path correctly. Please path correctly. Please don't get stuck. Please. Please. Stop. Oh, thank goodness. She's figured it out. No, don't run that way. Thank you. It's only a little bit further. Now she's just got to get onto the bridge. She's done it. Yes! No! Don't follow me. Don't follow There we go. Oh, we're almost there. There we go. Nice job. 